okay, just two delicious Major Lifestyles where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. After just winning a flight around Barbados, <laughs> welcome to the Light Airplane Club Open Day. We just won a flight around Barbados for three. So excited. What an amazing way to start today. Stay tuned. There's so much to see here. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, I hear you now. My name is Ramono Small. I'm a private pilot here at the Barbados oh, Light Airplane Club. Yes, I do. So you fly this thing? Yes, I can fly this. I can fly the Cessna 172 that is currently being flown for the tours today. Okay. As well as the Piper, but you get a little register. You get train, uh, just a quick train on each of them just to know the difference between the Cessna 172 and the Piper, but that's it. But you're registered to basically fly single engine uh, airplanes. So we're going to start at the back of the airplane today. At the back of the airplane, you have the tail. On the tail, you have what we call the elevator. This is the elevator that goes up and down. Elevator. And this is the rudder. This goes left and right. right. Now the elevator is like an elevator in a mall. When it goes up, you're ascending. When it goes down, you're descending. Okay. The rudder pedals, these are, the, the rudder is controlled by the rudder pedals and this goes left and right. This is effective on the ground for taxi in, to, to taxi and turn left. A taxi and turn right. Okay. In the air, it keeps the airplane coordinated. By that I mean that once the wind is pushing the aircraft in one direction, like that say it's coming from the right, push the nose to the left, you use your right rudder to mirror the aircraft combat center. 
All right, so that's basically what the rudder pedals do in the air, but on the ground it's used for taxi. The other aspect of the plane that is on the tail is the light. The, this is called the beacon light. It's red and it's always on no matter the time of the day. And it's actually a regulatory requirement that is always on whenever you're flying. It doesn't right? look on, but it's on. It isn't no, flying, so it doesn't need to be on. But I see, I see it now. I see it. But it's beyond when you're flying, all right? Okay. The elevator is controlled by something called the yoke. And as I was explaining, the rudder is controlled by the rudder pedals. Which I'll show you guys in the cockpit when we get to that part of the aircraft, right? We're going to go to the side of the aircraft, which is also known as the fuse lodge. Or the body of aircraft, for easier terms, for people. And this is what we call the registration number. We call this A Papa Lima Alpha Bravo. This is the registration number of the of this particular aircraft. And it's similar to your license plate. So A Papa is actually any aircraft registered in Barbados. This A Papa. Okay. November is United States, for example. Oh. So you know in Barbados we have M to mean you registered your vehicle in St. Michael. Right. P St. Philip. Well, it's similar to the, to the for the aircraft. Each country has its own unique code, and each code you will put on the airplane based on where it is registered, right? Now we're move, going to move on to the wing. Now you have two wings. You have one on the left and one on the right. They're basically the same. The right, the left, sorry, only has what I would think is three differences, which I'll show you guys when we get to the left. But whatever I explain here, similarly on the other side. So this is the wing, and this is where the fuel of the aircraft is kept. Okay. Yes, it's actually kept in the wings. That's where the fuel is kept. This is what we call the wing flap, and this is what we call the ailerons of the aircraft. Wing flaps go down in 10 degree increments. So what I mean is, your day right now is at zero. You can push it down one, it goes to 10, then you go to 20, then you go to 30. This is usually used in taking off and landing. In taking off, we take off with zero to 10 degrees flaps, and in landing, we do 20 to 30 degrees, depending on weather conditions or what the pilot deems necessary at any given point in time. The ailerons, now, this has caused the airplane in the air to, to bank to the left or to the right. They have no effect in terms of steering the aircraft on the ground. This is done, as I said, by the rudder pedals on the ground when you're attached But on the ground, if you turn the yoke left or right, there's absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing other than to counteract the wind and the direction of the wind, okay? So this is the flaps, this is the aileron. Now, on the side of the aircraft, or the wing tip, we have a green light. Now all aircraft will have this green light on the right side of the aircraft. All aircraft will have this. This is our nav light. And as a pilot, if I see a green light, I know I'm to the right of that aircraft at night. So obviously, if it's at night and I can't see the light, I don't know if I see left or right to the right. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, which direction that plane really is. So this helps us to determine which side of the aircraft we are on and you can also find this in, in um, boats as well. We're gonna go now to the cockpit. Yes sir. Yes sir. Now the aircraft, as I was explaining earlier, there's the yoke. Right? This is the yoke and it controls two things. Anybody remember? Yes and no. no, no, that's the, that's the pedals. Elevator. Elevator, Elevator, right. So, the elevator, as you pull it back, you're going to see it's going to go up. So that's how I climb or ascend. And when I push it, it goes down. And that's how I descend, right? The, as um, you guys correctly said, it also affects the aileron. So, check, as I turn to the right, that aileron is going to go up. But remember, but one of the things I forgot to mention is the ailerons move in the opposite direction. So when that goes up, look across the other side, you're going to see that that is down. Now if I go to the left, you're going to see that goes up while this comes down. The rule of thumb is, is that the direction you're going is the, is the one that's going to go up. So if I want to turn right, that aileron is going to go up. All right? And that's, remember the yoke controls the aileron and the elevator. The rudder pedals are these down here. And notice that I am pushing the bottom of this pedal. Why? Because this is the rudder. So check, it turns to the left. Check it turning it to the right. So again, left, right. You can't press both at the same time. Well, you shouldn't press both at the same time because then you will be not going left or right. Yes. <laughs> so but going down. <laughs> you will have the, the brakes are also attached to the rudder pedal. So it is at the top. So that's why I was pushing the bottom. So at the top, you can actually break. These are the brakes here. 
Brett individually, because Brett just the right or just the left or both. That's the one time you can use both. If you obviously want to get back, come to a stop. You will have a stop both. Right? But we see four cylinder engine. And there's a single engine plane. As you can see, the plane behind you has two wings. I mean, two, two engines, sorry. But this one only has one engine and one propeller. Right? This plane seats two people. You took off something here? Yeah, yeah, it's off. So you can, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. this ain't safe. You just took it off? No, 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 no. Look at this paper. Is it, this, you see this? It's a whole engine, man. Yeah, this is the engine. It's a little bit bigger. No, no, no. This, this is a small aircraft. This doesn't need a huge engine. This doesn't need a huge engine, okay? And um, what we're saying is that there's a single propeller and this seats two people, a pilot and a passenger, or a pilot and co-pilot. So Stefan Brooks, Barbados Light Airplane Club, and we are here at the Barbados Light Airplane Club uh, to celebrate our barrow, or what we would call EWB or L. Walton Barrow. Uh, as persons would know, he was a pilot um, back in his heyday before he became the Premier or the Prime Minister of Barbados. He built this club here, which we are staying on, um, to encourage persons or to give persons an opportunity to fly. We have, we own actually a flight school called the Flight Training Institute. Um, we are actually in the process of rebranding and making it more attractive for persons not only here in Barbados, but throughout the Caribbean to come, learn how to fly, get their personal private, their pilot's private license, and go on to do your um, commercial or type or whatever type license that you um, want to do. Um, what to expect from today, we have a lot of attractions, we have tours, we have the fire service rescue tender or what we would call the appliance. We have a static display. Um, we just got some vintage cars come in, some more modern cars to come in to look at the cars. You know, we, we associate speed with aviation, but you know, persons do like to drive fast too, but that's not allowed. Um, <clears throat> we have door prizes, we have giveaways. Um, the children are really liking the displays, especially with the fire service. Stay tuned to our social media handles. We are aiming to do something in May. Um, if all goes well, um, that will be advertised well in advance. Um, we'll be looking to get more sponsors and stuff like that. Uh, more giveaways, more prizes, more attractive and lucrative prizes um, for other people to enjoy. <laughs> Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be another event in May, so look out for that. And we want a trip, sorry, not a trip. We want a flight around Barbados for three. So stay tuned for that video. That is going to be amazing. See you in the next one. Bye.